Hi everyone, welcome to Amy Learns to Cook. On the show today, we are going to take you along on our summer camping trip. Now, we went to a local campground and they were having a crazy hillbilly day. And we had an absolute fabulous time. So, come along and join us for our summer camping trip. So we just arrived at the trailer. We're getting ready to hook it up. Eric's testing out the um, air levels in the tires. You always want to check your air pressure because you're, um, you could have a blowout. So that's the very first thing we do is we pump up the tires. We haven't used the trailer in a while, so we are headed off to the house. And it's going to get a good bath because it is a hot mess. And um, we'll be ready to go. Um, if you've ever had a travel trailer, you're thinking about getting one. It is a very fun experience, but it also, you know, does have its headaches. So we'll let you know some of the headaches that we run into. Um, the first of which is just preparing it to... Get underway, hitching it up is a real fun task and all that fun stuff. So um, we're pretty much ready to hitch up. So let's get to it. So we're putting the battery up. We keep the battery stored at the house. We don't leave it on the trailer. Um, it could potentially get stolen and it's not good for it to sit out all the time in the weather. So every time we're done, we remove the batteries and we take them into the house, into the garage. Eric changed his mind because we have a stereo in there that doesn't like to turn off and a, um, a carbon monoxide detector. So it has a tendency to drain the battery, so I think we're going to put the battery in in the morning. So we have an equalizer hitch, and basically it's a combination of a, a normal ball as well as some rods that keep the trailer stable when you go down the road. You really need to invest in high quality hitch when you're towing something that's fairly heavy, this trailer. It's about 5,000 pounds empty, and it has a, a capacity of another 2,500. This is a pin we use for the hitch itself to go into the receiver. We don't mess around with real things. things you need to do is to put a little grease on your um, hitch ball this keeps it um, keeps things moving right and um, so we're gonna go ahead and crank down the hitch and get it secured so Eric's going ahead and raise the hitch up and we're gonna back to truck up under the ball Thank you. 
And the last thing is you need to put a lock or a cotter pin on here. Otherwise this sucker will go flying off on the freeway. Um. Next we're going to cross the tra chains underneath and hook them to the truck. It, it cradles it somehow. Ideally it'll apply the brakes. So one of the next things we'll be doing is we'll be hooking up the um, electrical part. But for right now, we can try our best to get the equalizer on, right? That's what we do. So what an equalizer hitch does is it transfers some of the weight that's on the hitch to the back of the end of the trailer. So it doesn't weigh your back of your truck down and it also reduces sway. So let's put it on. The end of the bar into your hitch and it has a pin that goes in that holds the bar in So we need to tighten down the equalizer on the hitch and then plug in the lights. Now we just got to plug in the lights for the um, brake lights and stuff. So we have a chalk that's stuck under the wheel, so he's going to back up slightly so we can pull it out. Stop! Pull up the light check. Check the brakes. You got the brake control on? Okay. Press the brakes. Yeah. Yeah. We're ready to rock and roll. Pull forward a little. And you hear that noise? That's just the equalizer, so it makes a lot of noise. So we're ready to rock and roll. He's going to take it out the gate. Turn on the air conditioner because the
trailer is hot, hot, hot. Now we're going to take off the, um, the equalizer. These are our friendly neighbors admiring our trailer setup. This is the inside of our trailer looking from like the bedroom area up front, looking backwards towards the bathroom in the back. Top left we have our uh, TV which swivels so you can watch it from bed or from the dinette area which is kind of behind it to the left or even from the couch which is to the far right um, after a hard day of camping and eating food, right? Uh, we have the dinette with some stuff on it, the level, of course, to see how level the trailer is. And then the little kitchen area and the sink is to the far right and in the back. We're at a Sonic with Walmart in the background. It never fails that Amy has this plan all drawn up that we're going to arrive at a certain time, have time to cook dinner and everything, and then relax by the campfire. Usually by the time we get there, it's barely sunlight, and, you know, we just have to go somewhere to get food or else we're going to starve. Normally I make fun of Amy's cooking whenever she sets off the smoke alarm, but this is something serious. This is actually the carbon monoxide detector. Now luckily we were awake at the time, but Amy didn't realize that when she was uh, dusting down the little cooking area, she turned the knob on for the uh, propane stove, not realizing it's not lit. So she was actually filling up the trailer full of uh propane and she was several feet away from it she didn't even smell the stuff i was outside starting a campfire and i heard this thing go off so we opened up the doors and windows got it all cleared out we're all good we put this on here just to uh, try to make it a little manageable while it was beeping it took a couple of minutes for it to clear up so um, i don't advise that to be the normal setup for anybody but in this case it did help amy out Come get your food, baby. It's right here, right here. Unarmed. 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 Well, next year we got to get us a cart.
275 degrees. This guy's been in for about half hour. All that lovely smoke. We're using uh, oak today for um, wood chunks. And obviously these are our uh, stuffed jalapeno peppers. I've got the cream cheese, the little smokies, and bacon, a little rub. And a little bit sooner, we're going to put a little sweet baby rays on it to top it off, right? Got little toothpicks. So, uh, no dishes. Does that look good, boo? Are some at the bottom? Yeah, there's some on the bottom one. All right, we got a few refreshing beverages to be drinking. We got a pajama contest. And we got a nice campground fire. What else could you ask for? After a full day of activities, we decided to head out and get a midnight snack. On the way out of the campground, we discovered some redneck nightlife. So we ended up at a waffle house where the food was wonderful as usual, right? I mean, it's the only thing open at midnight. I just hope we got some room in our gut in the morning for some more breakfast. As it turned out, we didn't have enough room in our gut for breakfast, so we waited for lunch. And then Amy found the local Mexican restaurant. Surprised? <laughs> Big. All fun things must come to an end, right? So we're packing up so we can get ready to go home. Oh joy, lowering the awning without trying to break it, finish packing the truck, and raising the hitch on the trailer. Go poop du jour. Saving the best for last, right? Uh, so much first. That's stinky stuff. Thank you. So we dump the black water first, then the gray water, then we rinse out with some clean water. All right, that sounds pretty empty. This one. That's the other stuff that's like... Thank you. Hi, y'all. So we put this in the bumper here. See? It fits perfect. Yeah. Okay. Just make sure you stay on its way. Then we rinse off any connectors, put them in separate bags to keep everything all nice and clean, right? And then lastly, I take off my nasty rubber gloves, and then I wash my hands so I'm all nice and clean. We hope you've had as much fun as we did. If you like this video, please subscribe below, give us a thumbs up and a comment, and please visit our website at amylearnstocook.com, and we're also on Pinterest and Twitter at amylearnstocook.com.